What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video and tonight's video is a quick pickups video, not a ton of items, I think I got 13, um, but some pretty cool items and a couple that I am super excited to add into the collection. So without any further ado guys, let's check it out. Alright guys, so first we'll start off with a couple of these smaller items. Uh, the first one is I picked up an original PlayStation memory card. Uh, you just can't have enough of these. And I only, I think this is only like my third one maybe. Um, so I need to be picking up more memory cards whenever I get the chance. So I picked that up for cheap. And then I also picked up a 256 megabyte Xbox 360 memory card. Um, these things are just good to have and I don't have any of these so uh, Like I said, I need to pick up uh, pick these up whenever I come across them for cheap and make sure that I've got plenty of memory for my consoles uh, Next is a couple of loose Game Gear games um, the first one is Olympic gold so this is your you know, decathlon style game, Olympic uh, events. Got that for cheap. And then the other one is a beautiful uh, sticker, Shinobi 2, The Silent Fury. And this is in great shape. Both of these cards were nice, but the stickers are great. And this one is beautiful. Love that art style. So real happy to add two more Game Gear games as I've been adding quite a few lately. Um, next I got one PSP game and that is God of War Chains of Olympus. So this is the only, I had the other God of War game for the PSP, but I did not have this one and this is the cheaper of the two. So I finally picked this up and now I am only missing, I think two God of War games and I'll have all of them. Uh, but this is a nice complete copy so now I have both for the PSP so happy to have that I uh, picked up a few Nintendo Switch titles the first one is 88 Heroes 98 Heroes Edition so this is 88 Heroes 88 levels 88 minutes to save the world 10 bonus heroes plus 8 new levels. So I think this is a little bit like Broforce where you have 88 different characters, each with a um, special move, but a lot of them are basically useless. And each time you die, it randomizes and gives you a different character. And you have to use these characters to complete the game. As you can see the screenshots there. And it says, they call it the best, but the best were busy. And these are a picture of all of the different characters that you play as in the game. So it looked really interesting, and I got this for, I think it was eight or nine bucks. I remember seeing this on the shelves a while back, but never picked it up uh, and got it cheap. And it's a Rising Star game, which those are always fun to play, so... Next game I picked up is Rainbow Billy, The Curse of the Leviathan. Um, this is a complete unbox copy. Unfortunately, they did not have a sealed copy. Um, but this just looked like an interesting style game. You guys can pause and check that out and read that if you'd like. Uh, the pictures on the back don't do it justice. If you pull up gameplay footage of this, this looks really interesting. Uh, so I had to pick this up and got this for half of what it's going for actually um and then the last switch game i got is a game everybody's picking up right now and that is a sealed copy of live alive which is a remake of a super nintendo game that was never released in the united states only released in japan um and this has like seven different chapters that you play through and then once you complete the seven chapters, there's like a 10 to 12 hour game that opens up beyond that. So um, sounds like a really cool game. Looks really pretty. I like the art style. So 
how to add that to the switch collection there um all right jen if you're watching this one next one is uh, up your alley i picked up one wii title this is a survival horror game and that is cursed mountain so this is one i'd heard about and watched a few videos on um fairly affordable this is only like a 20 to 30 dollar game complete and you are basically going to save your brother uh, as you are the vanquished in the Himalayas. And you have to search eerie villages and ancient monasteries, tracking down leads, climb steep faces, and uh, discover his fate. So you get apparently uh, altitude sickness and oxygen deprivation. And so that um, means that you're going to see things that might not necessarily be there. Um, a very interesting game. Um, and again, like I said, one that is affordable. It's a nice complete copy. You've got your climbers log there. Um, one that looked really interesting, not the best game, and it's not quite horror. It's a little more survival, I believe. But uh, nonetheless, for the price, I had to check it out. And there's not a ton of these types of games on the Wii. So Cursed Mountain, um, definitely uh, happy to have that and excited to check that out. All right, and then I picked up one Game Boy game. And that is Ultra Golf. Uh, I do like my golf games, and I have one or two other golf games on the Game Boy, but this is a beautiful copy I came across for $25 CIB at a local game store, and this is going for over $50, so um, I had to pick it up and bring it home, and um, yeah, it looks like a really fun basic golf game, but that doesn't bother me because I do enjoy basic golf games, so for the price that it was going for. And I mean, just look at that beautiful glossy shine, uh, just absolutely gorgeous condition. And uh, you just don't see those very often in the wild. So I had to pick it up and bring it home. And then the next game is a banger for me. This is a game I had a loose cartridge of that I picked up last year at uh, Siege. Um, and I finally have a complete inbox copy, so now I have an extra cartridge. And that is Metal Slug Second Mission for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Um, so I wanted a North American box. Um, these things are going for three to four hundred dollars, and I just didn't want to pay that um, to get a complete box copy in my collection. However, I won an auction and got this for. <laughs> less than 50% of the low end of what I just told you. So absolutely happy to have this in the collection, a complete box copy now. Um, I am well on my way to having most of the pocket color games that I would wanna have in my collection. Only maybe three or four games left that I would like to add and then I'll basically be done collecting for it. But uh, I mean, there's not much to be said. This is Metal Slug, absolutely fantastic game. Just really happy to have a nice complete box copy for my Neo Geo Pocket Color collection. Absolutely love this handheld, um, favorite handheld, and these games are fantastic. So, all right, guys, uh, last two items. First item, uh, these both came together, um, but the first one is a Dreamcast keyboard. The box is got some damage. There's a sticker or a piece of tape up here and a lot of tape right here. Um, however, it's got the keyboard inside there and um, See that Dreamcast logo right there? This is the first model uh, keyboard. So even though the box is a little rough, I got a complete in box keyboard. And the reason I picked that up 
All right, Jen, this is another one for you if you don't already have it. And that is the typing of the dead. Oh my gosh. Guys, I've watched so many videos on this game and I finally picked this up. I actually don't mind the damage on the box because I got the game and the box together shipped for the price of what this game goes for by itself. Uh, won that in an auction. And this game is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. I've been playing the crap out of this. Uh, Leanne has been playing this and loving it. It is just so much fun. This is House of the Dead Part 2, but done with the keyboard. So instead of shooting the um, zombies as they're coming at you, there are uh, letters or words or phrases that you have to type out before they get to you and hit you to kill the zombies. So this is a nice complete copy. Absolutely just so happy to own this. Um, I am going to pick up a second keyboard because this is a two player game and Leanne and I would like to play this together with two keyboards like you could in the arcade. So an absolute blast. This is a survival horror style game. Um, this is a little more comedy. Some of the phrases that you have to type out are pretty funny and um, it is a riot and it definitely gets pretty tough. Um, causes you to use some punctuations that you might not use on a normal basis. I am not a very good typer to begin with. I don't use the homeroom keys. I am a hunt and pecker. Uh, so, um, but I still am pretty good at that. I'm pretty fast. And uh, yeah, this game is an absolute blast. If you guys have a Dreamcast and you don't have this game, I highly recommend it. And I can only imagine with two keyboards that this would be a blast with a few beers and some friends. So really, really happy to... Um, have typing of the dead a keyboard and i'm going to get another keyboard complete in the box that is in uh much much nicer shape but either way that still will display just fine and really happy to have it uh and just just a, a great all-around item and i think that's another banger as well so two bangers there at the end with the keyboard those are my pickups guys leave me some comments below let me know what you thought all right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, think about hitting that subscribe button for me. And if you enjoy this content and my content, you can also check me out on Instagram. That is Steve Craig Retro Games, same as it is down below. And of course you can come back every Monday, every Friday, and every other Wednesday. And I drop random videos other than that when I get the chance. So. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of any of these games and additions. And uh, what do you think of Typing of the Dead? Do you have it? Have you played it? Tell me your thoughts. I'd love to hear. So until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves and keep gaming.